Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Steve. You're watching another episode of Appalachian Ballistics. What I got for you today, guys, something I've been wanting for a while. 300 blackout, PSA, 7.5 inch barrel, upper. This one was $199.99 when I got it the other day. Uh, does not come with a T-handle or bolt carrier. I had one of those handy. So what I'm going to do today, guys, we're going to test fire this. I've got a Bushmaster uh, registered SRB short broad rifle I've had in a while. So I wanted to go the 300 blackout direction. Give her a try. Oh, look at that. Good fit. Bushmaster lower, PSA up. Tight. Tight as it should be. Also today, guys, I picked up a Crossfire Vortex Red Dot. 99 bucks on sale. Not a bad deal. Usually around 150. Looks good. I've got a bore sided. We'll see what we're going to do. We're going to be shooting out to about show over here about uh, 13, 14 uh, yards. Today we're going to be shooting the Arms Core 147 grain full metal jacket AAC blackout. So I'm using a standard AR-15 223 magazine. From what I understand we're supposed to work fairly well. Let's give it a try and see. Up the old All right, you ready? Everybody's got their eyes and ears. Okay. All right, guys, let's charge it up. Good so far. Tame it right up. Okay, we'll be shooting about 12, 13 yards, looks like. We'll want to shoot five rounds. Uh, I've got the, the Vortec bore sided, so it's all about, so see how close we can be. Gotta be careful, you know, I'm not used to shooting one that short. So, gotta keep your hands away from the muzzle, obviously. But guys, that was fantastic. Hmm. I'm a happy camper. All right. Yep, you want to charge her up. Ooh, good deal. All right, take your time. I wanna hear that plate smack, so I'm <laughs> and what we're going to do, folks, this is the first step. I'm going to be following my Form 1 for uh, a suppressor build I've got coming up. So, from what I understand, the 300 blackout is phenomenal when it's suppressed. So, I can't wait. That's one particular reason. Other than compactness, i got the 7.5-inch barrel. So, I'm going to be adding probably 8-inch, maybe inch suppressor is which way i want to design and build it but uh looking forward to that probably in the springtime unfortunately it's going to take a while to get that back so guys another good day at the range 